This is the this is the stinger. Today is April thirteenth, two thousand twenty-nine, and this is the evening news. What if we looked over and <laughs> Seven goes? So, you finally wake. <laughs> Unfortunately, I. I'm sorry. I don't have any news to read. All of our station's reporters have have passed after contracting Radical Six. So have my. Excuse me. I've managed to keep us on the air until now. But I'm out of tricks. It's time for me to sign off. This concludes our broadcast day. I pray that someday our world can be cleansed of this horrible plague. No, you fellas. This is the. This is point C or whatever. <laughs> Were you paying attention? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh my god. We go forward from here, and then that's what triggers... Yeah. It's like a rubber band, kind of, or whatever. I don't know. I kind of get it. <laughs> I don't get why it works, but yeah, this is where we live 45 years out or whatever. <laughs> Snake. It looks like the first step was successful. <laughs> Killed? Hey, no need to be rude about it. <laughs> uh, I didn't kill you. It's futile. <laughs> I hit you with the butt of the knife. You're fine. Oh, she's the best. <laughs> yes, you and Fi needed to experience a state of crisis. That was the only way. <laughs> yes, I only told you about you, but we also needed Fi to jump. What? Is Fi in the next game? What the f Hold the phone. Now, you know what happens next, right? No, I haven't played the next game. <laughs> Correct. We will be leaving tomorrow, April 14th, 2029. We've nearly finished preparing your shuttle. Only a few last-minute checks and additions. <laughs> You'll be traveling to Rhizome 9, along with three triple pods. <gasps> he, like, leaps over and is like... <laughs> the homies! Yes. Fine. Oh. Right. Of course. We put her into cold sleep two days ago. She appeared at our headquarters and volunteered to be frozen. That wasn't the Phi who jumped from point C, though. It was Phi before she jumped from point A to point D. In other words, she was following the same path you are. What? And she still is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gone. <laughs> yes. The point C version of Phi is sleeping in that pod. I, I, it's, I finally got lost, actually. Like, I actually was following it until now. <laughs> if you believe it, I'm gone now. <laughs> She'll stay there for the next 45 years, sleeping in ice. I will have a heart attack if she's, she says the words. Correct. We can't do that. You haven't figured it out? 
You have to spend the next 45 years working on the AB project. <laughs> After arriving at Rhizome 9, you must master genetic engineering and artificial intelligence programming, among other disciplines. Hey, June, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Otherwise, you will be unable to create Kyle, Luna, and Lagomorph. We made the tank runs. We made... We made the tank... We made the tank runs. We made the... course, you will need to develop the chromatic doors and the bracelets. That's why we love the bunny we made him! Siggy! Fido! The bunny! You will also be the person who summons Tenmyoji and Quark. Oh, we love those two. Once you've completed all the preparations, then the project can actually begin. January 25th, 2074. You will defrost Fi and carry her to the third AB room. Once you've done that, the 22-year-old version of you from point A will force you out. And you'll just go back 45 years to your own body on December 25th, 2028. <laughs> you have to. If you don't, billions of people will die. <coughs> Only you and Fi can save them. I can't do anything on my own. I'm a transmitter. If this is going to work, I'll need your help. It's this dinky little room. Why do we have a TV? What do you mean? You'll both enter the Mars mission test site. I feel like based on this, she is in the next game. She must be, in some form. Maybe not, know. maybe not physically, but like... I'm sorry. I really don't know anything about what happens in there. We don't know how the Radical Six escaped. We don't even know why it was there in the first place. <laughs> if I told you this, <laughs> we wouldn't need a third game. That's why we need your help. You have the ability to jump through time and across parallel worlds. We need you to figure out what happened in that test facility. Things will be difficult, and I'm sure you will find yourself in a great deal of danger. But I believe the two of you can overcome any obstacle. The 67-year-old version of you told me what happened. He wasn't able to stop the virus. So I suppose you could say you told me, after you failed. That the test facility is full of traps. You have to solve some really wacky puzzles, Sigma. Some absolutely bonkers puzzles. Sigma, there are like 20 tangrams in there. <laughs> there was one point. A woman's life was in danger. You risked yourself for her sake and lost your arms and your right eye. Excuse me. <laughs> uh. Go have a look. Wow, dude. Shrigma. That's it, huh? <sighs> we did it. If any other game did this, I'd probably be so mad. <laughs> ah,
This is after. Oh, this must be when he tells her that he failed. <laughs> He's speaking, oh my... I see you've finally woken up, Kyle. What if he was voiced by K-Man? Kyle? Ah, uh, yes. Of course. You've only just woken up in this timeline. It's only natural for some of your memories to be missing. His voice is... Kyle Klein. So, I'm Dr. Klein? Zero Senior's clone? What? How do you know that? Shouldn't you still be suffering from amnesia? Maybe. Goody goody. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up, bro? <laughs> what day is today? January 27th, 2074. Today is the last day of the AB project. Akane has explained everything in the garden. And she drew a knife and attacked Phi. How long have I been asleep? About five hours in real time. For them, it would have seemed like a little more than two hours. So they still haven't been treated for their Radical Six? No, they've all been given the antiviral. It just takes a while to have an effect. They're over at Chili's now having dinner. You wanna go join them? Uh, I see. Yes, I'd, I'd quite like that. <laughs> Credit roll. <laughs> So the consciousness of the Younger Sigma has gone back into the past. It should have happened right after Akane attacked Phi, right? Yes. Why am I here? The doctor carried you back here. You were in the pod in the garden. So the person you call the doctor, oh, Sigma Klein, right. is inhabited by his age-appropriate consciousness. Yes, but how do you know that? Dio seems to have remained unconscious. Yes, I've been administering Sulparil whenever he gets restless. <laughs> what about the others? They've all gone off to different areas. We're just <laughs> dragging Dio over and over. Just kill the guy. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. Ten Miyoji and Quark, for instance. What? Oh, is this a little where are they now? Oh, um... Right! Mr. Klein! So the sleepyhead's finally up, huh? Hey, bud. What are you two doing here? You don't know where we are? This is the upper floor of the pressure exchange chamber. The real one. Mm-hmm. We were just about to get dressed and head out. You plan to return them? <clears throat> the Millennium Eye, 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 the Millennium Eye. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't... Fellas... Do we write these things? I'm sc I'm scared. I think we might be in a notary game. I think I'm an esper. I think I'm an esper. To Earth, I mean. Yeah. Sigma told us where we could find the shuttle that brought us here. Well, guess he's not really the Sigma I knew anymore. He's Dr. Klein now, or, or Zero Senior, depending on how you look at it. Why? What do you mean, why? Um, well, I'm just curious why you would choose to return to a devastated planet when you could stay here. How's staying here gonna help? 
You're gonna say something idiotic about how we should wait here until Sigma changes the past, are you? You can't wait for something that's already happened. Grammar doesn't work that way. Hell, nature doesn't work that way. You following me? We've already lived through history. Sigma failed to keep the virus from getting out. About 45 years ago, Radical Six created a pandemic and the antimatter reactors blew up. That all happened. Whatever Sigma does in the past, history's not gonna change. In fact, it's because of what he did or didn't do in the past that we've got this past and present. Let me give you an example. Imagine a group of 100 motorcycles driving down an endless freeway. Eventually, they hit a junction. Man, this guy learned so much from his friends. He's giving us the lectures now. The road splits in two. One freeway continues off northwest, and the other stretches out to the northeast. So one guy, we'll call him S, pipes up. Seven. Let's go northwest, he says. So they take the northwestern road. But about a mile past the intersection, something horrible happens. A semi driving the other way veers oh, into no. their lane and plows through the bikers. Ninety of them die. Oh no! The surviving ten are wounded, but survive. They don't stop, though. They keep riding down that highway, and eventually, they'd gone ten thousand miles. Then suddenly, something happens that they couldn't have predicted. S, who had survived, suddenly has his consciousness thrown back in time. Seven he ends up back in his own body, just before they reach the junction. He remembers everything. So what does S do? What anybody would do? Let's go to the feast. <clears throat> that means all 100 of the bikers survive to reach their destination, happy and healthy. And they all live happily ever after. <laughs> Nev. Just opened a whole other layer to it. <laughs> Am I Sigma? <laughs> Yeah, it says, right? <laughs> That's what you're thinking, right? It's a great outcome for the hundred bikers that went northeast. But what about the ten that went northwest and survived the accident? Huh? Wouldn't it be nine people? I mean, S's mind went back in time, right? Oh, right. Okay, nine people then. Thanks, Quark. What happens to the reality they live in? <laughs> I love Quark. Does it just disappear when S changes the past? It's not as if it was only bad things that happened during that 10,000 mile trip. Maybe one of them fell in love with a woman working at a gas station they stopped at and had a child. Maybe one of them picked up a homeless kid who joined them on their adventure. That 10,000 mile journey would be full of stories, friendships, farewells, romances. See, the loss of those 90 lives is horrible and unfortunate. Yeah. But what would rewriting their history mean? The nine who survived lived full lives. How can it be right to just erase all that? The survivors overcame their own misery and loss and made the best they could of the hand they'd been dealt. Isn't that worth something? Isn't that the best thing that humans can aspire to? Ethics are ruined, ethics are ruined. We ruined ethics. Is there really any point to a world where everything is happy? Are people who struggle for a better life just idiots? Being human is about fighting, even when it seems hopeless, and finding happiness even in a world that hates it. Are you saying that's worthless? If you're saying rewriting the past will erase all these other timelines, then whatever God wrote those rules can f <sighs> Look, I'm just not going to accept that, all right? Or maybe the devil. You get it? If Sigma changes the past, then you and Quark will never meet. Is he right? No, it's not gonna happen. We're here right now. Oh. This is reality. Even if Sigma does change the past, we're not just gonna disappear or something. Oh! Then that means we get to stay together? <sighs> Good. I understand how you feel. Why you want to return to Earth is clear. 
You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? No point saying anything to Dio. Besides, he's asleep. You were asleep too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. You have a point. Akane was in the armor in this timeline after all. What about Sigma? Well, he's not really Mr. Sigma anymore. Of course. He is Dr. Klein now that his consciousness has returned. Yeah, but more importantly, he's the guy who brought us all here. Not a lot of warm feelings there, you know? And... Akane? The reminder. Oh, shit. She's just like him. Not the Akane I knew. She must have seen some pretty awful things over the years. Hell, she might not even be human anymore. Oh my god. But the Akane Kurashiki I know isn't here. She's not anywhere. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Don't say that. Well, I mean, Alice, I mean, you were, but... Still, it's not like we're completely resentful. We had to be here to help change the past. That part's easy to understand, but... Kinda sucks, though. <laughs> I, mean, I wish that was all she said. I have it easy. <laughs> Dab me up. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. <laughs> She's the best. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Come on. <laughs> Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, <laughs> S's consciousness so wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But it's still not the best situation for those of us left in the northwest. We're stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we Aww. just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. You can clean it up. And what about our friends and families? No. We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. What? One way we could get back to the past. Yeah. Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What is that? Time travel? That's ridiculous. Come on. <laughs> That's silly. What? Come on. Time travel? <laughs> Come on. That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? Can you imagine two Clovers? <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> the world would explode. But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. How on earth does she plan to do that? Schrodinger's? <laughs> Oh, hey, Kyle. Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sure.
Don't even worry about it, sis. Glad to see you. <laughs> there isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. I'd love to answer all your questions, but unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. I hope you can forgive me. Everything I know, Fi should also know. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle, that is. What does he mean, other than Kyle? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Oh, right, well... Wait, what? I thought you just said... I guess I may as well cut to the chase. But he just said not to answer his question. Just who are you, Fi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or a Merman, or a Wolfman. Who are you? I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. <laughs> Please don't dodge the question. Just, she's getting us back. <laughs> she's getting us back. Koi Fi, Koi Fi. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D, April 13th, 2029. We're still going, by the way. <laughs> On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. We had two fake out endings. <laughs> There's more. Although by then, you were in cold sleep. This seems just like an epilogue, kind of, though. Like, for us to be sane. You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. You slept there, frozen, until the time was right. Then on January 25th, yeah. 2074, you were finally thawed out. And, like, for closure and stuff, you know? Even though you the didn't characters. wake up. Because, like, if we just left it on that note, I'd, I'd be disappointed that we left the characters like that, kind of. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AB room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out. And sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. Fortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. So that line going off to the right is like the wind condition, right? That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places, and you moved 45 years into the future, where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you, only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about, you got right. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of X factor. Okay. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. Interesting, I guess. I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. All right. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. Oh, I know this. Ten I thought Ten Myoji was the physics teacher. Robbed. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared. 
which is the speed of light squared. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. Mm -hmm. Since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1 plus V2. Oh! You see what I'm saying? Why didn't they just do... They should have just played this game in physics class. In most situations, it works, even if it isn't technically correct. Oh, so there's a mystery equation. <laughs> So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. So was that what you wanted to ask about? Oh, if I played the next game. <laughs> I get it. She played the next game, but rage quit. No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? This is a super interesting way to tell a story, let me tell you. <laughs> so I'm assuming we're going to go into the next game knowing these things and waiting for them to happen. What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because it would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. Yes, Brother's probably if the I antagonist of the next game. Right now, then that reality will disappear. That's why we didn't learn anything about him here, because he's the guy in the next game. I think Brother's motives are complex. You understand? I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then where the hell did you learn all this stuff? I just listened to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. You were sleeping in the pod in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. I shall give you your answer. Jesus Christ almighty. That is bloated. You are not Kyle Klein. Your body is Kyle's, but your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle? What now? Or could you be someone else entirely? Then where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th, 2028. His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. Who am I, Sigma? I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He raised him on his own. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past and leave Kyle behind here? I know what I told the others, that Kyle was Dr. Klein's spare, but that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new mission begins on Christmas and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely <coughs> necessary. And that is why he created it? Yes. So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Kyle has gone back to 2028 to participate in his mission. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. 
That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. Does that mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. June? That's ridiculous. What's going to happen to me? You're telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box, living in a borrowed body? No, not at all. You can travel freely through time and space. You are an uncontrolled variable that entered our closed system. As such, the rules of this world do not apply to you. Uh, I have no idea what... Please don't try to play dumb. I know what you are. The player? Surely you must know by now, too. God? You are about to go into the past and save the world. Phi and Sigma, even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Now, go by Zero Time Dilemma, Steiner. <laughs> Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know what happened in between oh, I think Christmas she's actually gonna say and it. New Year's Eve in 2028? She's gonna say it by zero time dilemma, Stina. <laughs> well, yes, I do. The post game. <laughs> then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If observation can change the motion of a particle, then how is it odd to think that human thought can shape reality? Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine. I'm God. Oh my, is he gonna look in water? Remember what I've told you. No. Only you can change history. Only you can save the world. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that too says I we might not play a Sigma in the next one. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out when we get there. I need to I need to sleep on this. I'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple minutes. We're not done. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good job, Will. <laughs> you were on thin ice, though. <laughs> I was a little bit genuinely mad. <laughs> and I think I was within my rights. Yeah, so I was literally just thinking that while I was skay pissing. Um, why was the name of the game Virtue's Last Reward? In a chat if anybody's saying anything sorry one sec oh my god oh this is why k-man is mod this is why k-man's a mod <laughs> he sent me he didn't even make this someone else made this he sent me the best tier list we could have asked for. Oh, this is why he's mod. Good job, K-Man. Thank you. Thank you, K-Man. Thank you, K-Man. Okay, we gotta make a new, I guess. Um, how the heck do I do this? We're doing this on the fly, sorry. <laughs> Anything open I'd rather not have open. Um There it is. There. Perfect. <laughs> Look who's on it. <laughs> also, there's two DOs by mistake, I guess. Either that or it's supposed to imply one is... I don't know. 
The freebie in S tier? What, 10? There are a couple freebies, I think. <laughs> Alright, fellas. We're gonna start with 10. The problem is... How's this gonna go? There... <laughs> They're all kind of either <laughs> S or not S. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I do it later? Oh, no. Actually, I promised at the start of the playthrough I would do this, by the way. Mm, disagree? Oh, about what I said. No, 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 no. Not actually. But point point is, I'm going to have a lot of S's is the problem. <laughs> oh, no, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean they're all either S or A. That's not what I meant. I meant they're all either S or just not good. <laughs> but that's not true. I promised that I would show... Oh, this changed so much. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, I'm going to give you my tier list that I made after session one, okay? These are the initial thoughts, and we're gonna see how much this changed. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Alright, the first thoughts were that this was, Sigma was in C. <laughs> and in B tier I had, I'm reading my words word for word here. C tier was Sigma, in B tier was old guy, <laughs> and kid. <laughs> That's how I wrote it. Old guy and kid. <laughs> oh, That's so funny. That's hilarious. Yo, Ami, what's up? <laughs> also, oh my, this is so funny. <laughs> In A tier, Luna <laughs> and K Man. And I'm, I don't even know where my head was at, fellas. You notice someone who's missing who should be much lower tier, right? So this was correct. This was a great read. We had this, fellas. We had Alice and S. <laughs> I had Alice and S. <laughs> Isn't that insane? That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh, Zebra Steiner from the past. What were you doing? But anyway. Let's make the real list right now, okay? That's the thing. I, Alice was... She hadn't done anything yet, and we were just like, That's her, Ice Nine, Ice Nine. <laughs> Which didn't get explained, by the way. How are we ranking Sigma? That's a great question. <laughs> I think we're ranking Sigma based on our understanding of Sigma. I don't think... I... We can't... Yeah. You know... This is Sigma. This is not Kyle or... <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> so... Oh, who was my favorite? I mean, it's between two. Let's just, let's just get it over with. It's 
They're, they're the best. <laughs> They're the best. Um... What did- oh my- The next three- I feel like I need a- I'm gonna have such a loaded S tier that I feel like I have to make an SS. Is that fair? Can I do that? You guys mind? Because literally, I don't want to undervalue anyone else that I'm about to put here. So we're just going to do this. Because these characters still deserve S, but like, that's too many, you know? <laughs> I need to get my point across. Next! I'm putting three characters in here. Some are going to disagree with this, I think. But in terms of personal enjoyment added to the story, so like, Luna's up here and Quark is up here. Uh, do I want it in this order? This is fine. <laughs> He's in there. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Howard's tier. How? Luna should be S? Yeah, I know. I can... D I actually like this. What? No, sir. Makes an SS tier just to. <laughs> Cork made me cry. <laughs> right? That's gotta be worth something. <laughs> we need a Dio tier, that's kind of what I'm getting at. That's kind of what I'm getting at. We need a Dio tier. He was just a good kid in the end. He was just a... He was... Oh. I mean, this is mostly just a bit snack. <laughs> um... Who's next? It's these two. Do I have it like this? I like Fa, um, even though she was nuts. <laughs> She's cool, but I feel like I like K-Man more. He didn't... A is like... They needed more something. I don't know what they were missing. That's the thing, yeah. She was too inconsistent, and he was too, like, out of the spotlight, kind of. Um, this is an easy one. <laughs> You'd argue C. I don't think we need a C or a D, maybe. Um... Do we? You're right. God, Alice ruined it. Just for that, she might go in D. There's a... There's a thunderstorm rolling through.
Alright, we're fixing this. Yep. Alright. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Sigma's a B. <laughs> he had his moments. I'll give him that, right? We do think he had his moments, regardless of what we think of him. I think he had his moments. I don't think Alice had any moments. <laughs> you know? Um, this is the Dio that was our bro. He is about up here. This is... he's right here. This was bro Dio. This is just Dio. Um, Lord Hoppington was about here. This guy was raw. Do I like him better than actual? <laughs> he was like here. <laughs> this guy is nothing. And this is, I'm not ranking this as June. I'm ranking this as Dr. Kurosuke or whatever. Who well, I will give. DMs, huh? Oh my god, sis. God bless you. Did we really have none today? Um, I... Th this is so in... This is the worst list I've ever made. <laughs> Siz sent me the Gambit counter. This is awesome. I love this list. It's the worst thing I've ever made, and I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Run it. It'll be fine, fellas. My window's open. That's fine. Uh, if we lose power, you know what happened. <laughs> Great finale. <laughs> we loved the game. Golem is the best. <laughs> you stand there. Uh, okay. Now, Steeners. Much more important. You would bump everything down a tier? What? There were no S's? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you mean by that. Anyway, this is what- this is the real- this is... I did take SS out. This is what we're waiting for. This is huge. <laughs> we're good. The viewership's gonna drop. <laughs> this is big. I think I need four for this. Does anybody even know what's coming? Jumpy's Rave is still playing. I'm gonna let it keep playing, honestly. <laughs> Can we end it any other way? <laughs> I need four tiers for this. I don't care what colors. Does Sis know what this is? I don't know if Sis knows what this is. I think he might know what this is. Sis, what do you think this is? <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> We need to establish something. Alright. 
This goes up. <laughs> Who's this for? <laughs> We're stupid. <laughs> Alright, we get this out of the way. This is so funny looking. <laughs> this is fighting gold. <laughs> the part with... <laughs> Who does this in fighting gold? Is this, um... <laughs> this is, um, what's his name? Fugo, right? Doesn't he do this part? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is such an X Factor. I think I think she's a bother, right? Flora. Imagine someone walking in right now. Seriously, imagine. I'm sorry. This is why it's follower only. It's for the night. <laughs> We're stupid people. <laughs> what does this mean? You, you, <laughs> you enter the stream, right? Not only do you see what I'm doing, you see this overlay. This is something no one has ever done. I know. We're... What's wrong with me? If there's anyone lurking, I just want you to know. We love you. I swear. I'm a normal guy if you get to know me. No, please, Comb, don't do that. I don't want to get blown up. This is a good overlay. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the best thing I've ever made. Uh, guy, person who caught up on the VODs, if you're still catching up on the VODs, you're the best. <laughs> we do it for you. I think Luna's pretty clear. I don't know. It's a robot with a smile and a little bluebird. 
Pegasus with the chilies and the ghost of Coach Z behind him. And we didn't even know he was missing an eye, but he was. I guess it's fine, they have the same VA and she's saying yeah. The yeah is hard to see. I wanted to make it clear, but I should have done a better job. I see the confusion though, yeah. The robot angle. She didn't have robot legs in the end. <laughs> and they were on the moon. <laughs> you ask me why K is Zenyatta? You answer that for yourself. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, we didn't know. This was made pre- You don't understand- Look at him! <laughs> um, I'm happy with this. Right? I think I agree with Snag. Yeah, this is it. And the tiers are ordered. The further left they are, the more heavily committed to it they are. So... We're going like this. <clears throat> Sir Hoppington goes with it. Oh, Junior loves it, but Junior knows. <laughs> yeah, and Sigma's not Pegasus. <laughs> Ten Ryoji's not a frog. Sick, right? This is it. Run it. Uh, I feel like there was one more. Once again, I have cut a worthless <laughs> Thanks, Ali. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Right up there. Yeah. <laughs> Was there another list we wanted to do? Someone you can't see. Someone who exists all over the world. You mean like like a god? Or maybe the devil. Or maybe the devil. Or maybe the devil. Or maybe the devil. Maybe the maybe the maybe the maybe maybe the devil. Um, I I guess I don't have another list. I guess. But I am going to share Sizz's Gambit counter. I don't even remember all of these. <laughs> Alright, our first Gambit in the story. <laughs> Was Kay promising that he would ally with us? Do we remember that? <laughs> this guy. Our second one, this one I don't, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this, this was the, uh, the Luminol. Sigma with the blood bracelet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he brook ran out the door. Oh, I'm gonna get so nostalgic for this, guys. Can I just say this is maybe like the peak? We, I mean, not even a maybe kinda, it just was. This is the most fun I've had, like, <laughs> ever, <laughs> streaming. <laughs> and we got another game! <laughs> Ooh, 
Why would he skip these? The third one was... This one I don't remember. This was Fi saying, hey look, to Dio. What was that? She literally just pointed and he like... What happened? Was this also in that room? He looked and she tackled Was that when he was trying to escape? <laughs> Dio gets owned so easily. I I think I loved this game, honestly. It was fun. It was ridiculous. And I'm all about it. <laughs> oh, so he couldn't vote. Okay. No, I wouldn't. This is a this is an experience. This was a shared experience. Four was the ten blood bracelet gambit where he he did the same thing as Sigma. He used Illumino. Okay. Five. <laughs> I don't know if five was a gambit. I don't, but I don't remember the context either. Maybe it was a gambit. Dio saying he has a kid. <laughs> it was definitely a. a <laughs> you think so? I loved this game. It was ridiculous. Here's to, oh okay. That's true, yeah, he did it to save his life. Six was Sedusa, we don't have to talk about that one. <laughs> we lived through that one. Seven was Dio using the Accelerator's leverage. That was just a hard, that was a straight up gambit. That was just one of them. That was just the one, kinda. Uh, eight was K pretending to sleep. Yep, K is sleeping. Nine! This might be my favorite one. Sigma pretending to be free the soul. Yeah. I think- Oh no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the next one's my favorite one. <laughs> that was my second favorite one. Favorite one was uh, when Ten said the detonator was fake. Even though he kind of like, screwed up in that moment, it was raw. <laughs> it had to be done. Uh, and 11 was the Sigma Arm Crush. Which was also very raw. It was- it was so jumpy. <sighs> I think that's it. I think we're done. Thank you, Suze. Who knows? Speaking of Zero Time Dilemma, yes, I will be going straight into it. <laughs> Especially now, <laughs> with the way this ended. That being said, that being said, you're gonna be mad about this one. I'm not streaming next week. <laughs> I promised myself I would take a break between the games just so I could like do stuff on a Tuesday night so I'm gonna do that yeah it's on Steam I own it I already have it I bought it when I bought this so no worries there um but yeah that's it. <laughs> Crazy, right? Insane. We need to read the dev interview. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna miss this. This is so good. This is a grand old time. Hey, thanks for joining. It was truly a pleasure. Yes, it's...
Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody who joined. Thank you, future VOD watcher. K Man's name was Kyle. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to K Man. <laughs> Amen. I'll see you all at Chili's where we celebrate. We'll have the rap party at Chili's. Whenever that may be. Peace out, gang. Or maybe the devil.